Welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword with you once again. With an offering today from Steel Will Knives. I've done a few reviews on Steel Will in the past. You can look them up. I think there's a playlist for Steel Will, or you can look them up under Steel Will. I'm pushing close to 300 videos at this point, so you've got a large selection to choose from. I'm also coming up on a thousand subscribers and once we reach that threshold you'll hear some news about a giveaway so stay tuned what we've got today is something relatively new by steel will called the nutcracker crazy name for a knife but uh, it is the f24-20 and we're going to reveal this in just a moment and extricate it from its box. Um, Steel Will claims they called it the Nutcracker because it'll open walnuts <laughs> and coconuts. I'll leave it at that, but you can find that information on the Steel Will website. Um, <clears throat> let's get this puppy out of the box so you don't have to stare at the cardboard forever. That's what Steel Will does is a box within a box fairly sturdy. Got your documentation there and this did come in a plastic bag. I took the liberty of removing it from that. So here we have the Steel Wheel Nutcracker. This version is in the gray handle and a black stone washed blade. I'm going to give you a quick uh, once over and then we'll run some specs down and we'll talk about it. Good size knife. Medium, I'd call it. Comfortable in the hand. All right. Some specs and later on we'll do some comparisons. Um, I am pulling my information from Blade HQ, which always has a very good list of specifications and a description and everything. So it's a Bowler N690 blade, relatively new steel for uh, steel will. Uh, they say it's got a stainless steel pocket clip. Um, I beg to differ, and I believe it's titanium, but I'll show you that in a bit. Um, Nutcracker from Steel Will was created as a heavy-duty, everyday carrying option. Functional quality can be used to tackle outdoor f outdoors and prep food. Finer tasks such as slicing, basic EDC functions, and it locks up tight with a liner lock, opens smoothly with the flipper, and this is on bearings. So some dimensions, 8 inches overall length, 3.5 inch blade, uh, thickness of the blade, 0.16 inches, so um, over the 4 millimeter mark apparently. It's a sheep's foot style blade design. Glad they got that right. Didn't call it a worn cliff. It's a flat grind. Uh, this is a black stone wash finish. A handle length of four and a half inches. Handle thickness of 0.59 inches. Uh, G10 handle material in gray. The liner is stainless steel. It's a hidden liner and or an inner frame whatever you want to call it and the weight is 4.59 ounces so under five inches and i see no weight relieving in the um, on the liners it's a right hand only tip up carry and it's model f24-20 as i said in the beginning so <clears throat> those are the quick specs eight inch overall knife three and a half inch blade so falls right in the middle for me I mean a four inch blade uh, 3.75 to four inches is a large blade for me um, first thing you notice in looking the knife over is everything's kind of a muted monotone until you get to the uh, barrel spacers there which are a bright red and they included a lanyard pin at the end which is very similar to those spacers, just a little narrower. Hourglass shape, barrel shape, whatever. Um, <clears throat> wide open, otherwise. 
And in looking on the inside, no skeletonizing whatsoever could probably be a lighter knife if they bothered to do that. And at a uh, MSRP of, I think, around, uh, what is Blade HQ saying they're charging for this? Uh, MSRP is one twenty nine ninety nine, and they're charging one ten fifty. <clears throat> this came to me from White Mountain Knives, so thank you, Justin. And uh, remember, you can get ten percent off by using the discount code code Old Sword. I like this nice gray. It's not a blue gray. It's just a straight neutral gray color. Got some nice uh, millwork here on the edge. Um, got a grippy texture. I mean, it's smooth. Um, very good uh, built into the frame, uh, jimping there on a thumb ramp that's on the handle, on the frame. If you hold it that way, you don't have much left over. If you get into a hammer grip, then you've got a pommel left for you and you can easily drop your thumb onto that gentle curve on the back of the blade. There's no jimping there, but it is thick. And let's just do a quick check of the blade thickness. Four millimeters, yep. So 0.16. Four, let's try that again. Well, I'm getting a little over four millimeters. 4.1. Okay. So uh, it's a heavy duty mid sized knife. I wouldn't call it small by any means. Branded with the name of the knife there in the M690 steel. Uh, and the steel will on the other side. It's, you know, muted enough that it's, uh, it adds a little to it rather than detracting like a big billboard. <clears throat> Definitely bright when you uh, flip it over there. The clip, as I was talking about earlier, they, Blade HQ, I think, is erroneously calling it stainless. I don't know. I get a little bit of magnetic attraction there. Let's take the cover off this thing. Well, you know what they could have done is use like a 320 stainless or something less magnetic. Um, to me, it looks like a milled titanium clip, and they could easily do that for this price point. This is not in the budget territory at 110 and uh, Steel Will tends to charge maybe a little more for their knives um, for this, a lot of the same materials that you get in uh, Best Tech and maybe some uh, lower end Kaisers. Uh, but it's, this is a well-built knife and it's on bearings. Virtually drop shutty because it's a heavier blade. Uh, I notice the edge on it is very fine but smoother. It doesn't have a lot of bite to it. So you may want to improve on that depending upon the types of cutting chores that you uh, perform. Take a quick look at it next to a couple other steel wheel knives that I'd reviewed. This is the Resident in carbon fiber and titanium and D2 and just about the same length as the resident and this is the Scylla if I'm pronouncing that correctly yep the Scylla which I reviewed a good long time ago and um, kind of in the same general length and size Scylla is interesting because of this uh, major uh, big uh, double thumb studs they use that actually make it a front flipper. You can go that way or you can use the thumb studs. And they, uh, although they look, I'm not going to get into this too much, 
believe they do brace on the frame. No, they don't. It's using the uh, stop pin. Okay. Don't want to get sidetracked with that. But the Sill is an interesting knife. Uh, so is the Resonant. The Resonant is an excellent lightweight uh, EDC with a thumb disc. And that darn thing just snaps open every time. Deep carry clip. This is missing the deep carry clip uh, on the Nutcracker. But it's a nice looking clip. It's um, thicker and um, fairly tight, but relatively smooth, and you've got a nice ramp there in both directions. It's too bad that it is not reversible. So many manufacturers are going with ambidextrous clips these days. Uh, apparently, they thought not. We have nice swedge. I mean, the overall shape of the blade is attractive if you like the chopper style, uh, sheep foot style, uh, heavier looking blade. Flat ground, pretty high, almost to the top. So you should be able to refine that edge and get it the way you want it. Like, it's not bad. It'll do paper, I'm sure. Um, but uh, it's a little too slippery for me. I like edges that'll bite. And uh, that toothiness you can get by working it on diamond or just uh, even getting a mirror polish on it if you so choose. But nice finish on it. And um, like the handle color. Um, like the action. Extremely smooth. So that is the Steel Wheel Nutcracker. You might like to pick one up if you enjoy this style of knife or you like this in general. And uh, the ergos on this are great. I'll just close with that. Um, three fingers fit there nicely. Nice finger choil, perfectly sized, at least for me. And uh, great jimping if you're working back here. So uh, nicely contoured uh, G10. Just a comfortable knife. And a little on, more on the heavy duty side. So that's it for this one. Be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 1000 point after a good long effort. <laughs> for those that are subscribed, thanks for being with me. More content coming. This Old Sword, signing out.